Yesterday, President Biden announced Dr. Monica Bertignoli as his intended nominee for director of the NIH. Guess what? From 2015 to 2021, Bertignoli received more than 116 grants from Pfizer, totaling $290.8 million. This amount made up 89% of all her research grants. This is the revolving door of corporate money and government power. Does this mean Dr. Bertignoli is personally corrupt? No, but it does mean that she will probably represent the viewpoints and priorities of the pharmaceutical industry. That is how agencies are captured. In the White House's official announcement, I'm not shocked that they totally failed to mention the Pfizer connection, since like most people, I've become accustomed to the government's routine manipulation of the public. But when I am president, I will set a different tone and standard. Honesty and transparency will be the new norm.